I just recorded this entire video and I don't know where the screen recording went. So I was gonna delete everything, but that made me feel really bad. So what I'm gonna do is go through the project and show you how I made it. And then I still have the footage from when I actually made the beat, so I'll insert that. And yeah. Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be making a drill beat. And the first thing I did was load up this Waves piano. And the preset is called Red Piano. And I applied an EQ to that. I EQ'd out all the lows under 100 hertz and all of the highs above 3000 hertz. Then I added a isotope vinyl to that. And this is what I played. Then I decided um, to reverse it. So this is what that sounds like. And I decided to just add a little bit of compression to that. Here you can see it working. added a directional mixer just to spread it out a little bit then I added a pad with just one note it's like a bass note kind of thing um, this started off as a piano but then I switched to um, this synth sound kitty And that just has um, an EQ. I EQ'd out more of the highs because I wanted to sound really dark, almost up to 1K. I added a little bit of distortion, a lot of it. Um, <laughs> a directional mixer, I also spread it out. A chorus and a tremolo so that it can move between the ears just to have some movement in the beat. All right, so then I found this vocal sample. All I'm waiting for, all I'm waiting for you. So I EQ'd out the lows and the highs all the way up to 1300 hertz. I added a compressor and I added a vocal transformer to do a formant shift um, down four so that the vocal can sound darker and lower. This is what that sounds like. And there's also reverb and echo on that. Then I decided to chop the sample like right in the middle and then I reversed it. So this is what that sounds like. Then I duplicated this reversed vocal sample and on the vocal transformer I also pitched it up 12 semitones which is an octave and on both of these I applied some spread and on the main one I just threw an OTT on there to make it sound like saturated. So now we have the drums. This is the kick pattern that I came up with. It's supposed to be very scarce. All right, and then the snare, um, there's a lot of songs that basically only have the snare hitting on the second beat, and that's what I did. I added a couple other snare hits here and there, but for the most part, that's how it goes.
one, two. So then I have a second snare, which is just like an accent snare. Then I have an open hi-hat. And then the hi-hats I'll show you by themselves. Um, at first I just recorded a pattern like very simple. That's the normal hi-hat pattern rhythm that you usually hear in drill beats. Um, and then I just kind of added different stutters. So the last thing is the 808. Alright, so I kind of came up with a little flow for the 808. I'm going to try it out um, and I'm just going to go ahead and record that. Alright, so that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna finish arranging it and mixing it and you guys will hear it after this. The beat will be available on BeatStars. You can check out the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Jen in this bit. Yeah.